on our way to Georgia and one of the things we're doing is trying out the new, I want to call it the Garmin, but Honey Babe, tell me what it is. It's called Garmin Speak. Okay, we're trying out the Garmin Speak and that's it right there up underneath the mirror. And basically what it is, is um, it hooks up in the car and you're able to talk to Alexa. Good morning, Alexa. Good morning. Today is the first of the seven days of Kwanzaa, a celebration of the pride and cultural heritage of African Americans. To learn more, just say, tell me about Kwanzaa. And what we can do with the, uh, with the Garmin is I can, I can ask for directions, um, like instead of having my phone on my dash and asking my phone to give me directions, the uh, application here will do that for me. And you might notice there's a little arrow on there it's telling me to turn to the left and it's going to direct me. We're just testing it right now. It's, we're gonna we're just testing this right now, but uh, when we get down here where we turn We're just gonna see how it works. Uh, I want to hear how it directs me and things like that But we're we're going to uh, you know basically try it out as far as playing music while we travel One of the things we figured out the other day is a lot of times we're not in an area where we get any radio reception I don't like listening to the radio anyway, and it's hard to find stuff on the radio that's worth listening to so, you know, maybe with this, when we get kind of sleepy, we can just ask, you know, you know who to play something to keep us awake. Yesterday I was experimenting with it and I was asking her for poetry by different poets and tell me a story and things like that. So we'll have some fun with our new friend here and uh, I'll make videos along the way so that you can see what it is and how it works and I'll rely on my technical resource staff that's you <laughs> to tell us how it works because see she's been occasionally looking at the phone because see everything that goes on here comes through on the phone so instead of having for example this is also a car cam and on a normal car cam you have a memory card in there and that memory card fills up and then it recycles and it runs again and again and again and every car cam I've ever had eventually fails for some reason and I think a lot of it may have to do with it's just worn out the memory card or something like that but on this device <clears throat> instead of having a screen everything goes into the phone and then if you want to see what is being seen by the uh, car cam it, it comes up with a picture on your phone my honey baby my technical my, my the technical support staff right now is pulling up the uh, live feed the uh, the phone so that we can see see this is what it looks like on the phone so instead of having a screen and instead of having a memory card this is happening there and there are various different things you can ask it to do for example and we haven't tried this yet but supposedly you can ask it to take a picture let's just say somebody cuts you off and you want to get their tag number you can ask it to take a picture or you can ask it to record specific moments and save them or events and stuff like that so those are all things we're going to be learning about as we make our way down the road here so okay any questions if you have any questions just write to honey babe send her a hundred dollar bill wrapped up in uh, cheesecloth and uh, and put your uh, mother's maiden name and your social security and your date of birth on it and then just ask anything you want to and if she gets it she'll take the hundred dollar bill and buy more technical equipment and we'll make more videos and uh, and the cheese cough I'll, I'll strain gas through and your mother's maiden name and all that stuff I'll use it to get into your uh, checking account and credit card so that I can you know steal or sell off to other thieves anything that you have going on there oh oh we have no idea what's going on here but it gives us something to focus on other than just staring at the road until our eyes grow sleepy. Have a nice day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye. So we've enjoyed this thing so much. We're in Frackville, Pennsylvania. Uh, we maybe would have stopped for the night already, but we've been having such a good time. I, uh, I, I started playing, you know, I'm just asked for a song and have it play on the radio. So I I uh, I played some Crowder, which oh, oh here comes Honey Baby. I'll talk. I'll tell you more about this later.
That's not the same car, is it? Yeah. It is? Yeah. Oh my goodness. It was yesterday we passed it, wasn't it? No, it was earlier today. Oh, really? They backed away there somewhere. Okay. Here we are suddenly in Dixie again. The uh, frost is just burning off the grass. It's uh, 40, headed toward 50, something like that. Pretty comfortable out here. Uh, yesterday I was talking about this little Garmin um, thing on the windshield that plays music through the radio and it works as a uh, thing to help you find directions and it works as a camera, a dash cam and we enjoyed using it all the way down here and what we really enjoyed the most about it is the Alexa application that's inside of it. Um, it generally I don't listen to music and it, it's because uh, when I was a young fella I drove a truck and I listened to an awful lot of radio and kind of got sick of it. You know, there's only so much you can get out of Top 40 radio. And I really reached a point where I did, didn't want to hear it anymore. I listened to late night talk show. I, li I listened to anything you could get on radio. I read books on tape. I shouldn't say read them, but you know what I mean. I played books on tape and I, I did all that. So I just kind of got to a place where nothing out there was of interest to me anymore. Which don't give you much to do when you're traveling. But I figured out with this thing, with this uh, Alexa app inside your car, that I could ask for things that I didn't know about. I was asking it all kind of questions, you know. Like, a lot of it I knew. I was just trying to see if Alexa knew. Like, well, you know, what was the cubic inch of the engine that came out in 1958 in the Chevrolets and stuff like that, you know. But I did discover some kind of fun things. Um... For example, my wife listens to a lot of kind of modern Christian music, and I knew that there was a band called Mercy Me because she took me to a concert by them, and I wanted to uh, basically just hear it, just hear, uh, you know, what kind of music they had, but I couldn't think of the name of the band. So I knew the lead singer's name was Bart Millard because he had that movie, you know, about... Uh, he made a movie about him writing a song that kind of made him famous. Let's see, what was it called? I Can Only Imagine. I think that's the name of the song. Probably the name of the movie, too. So I asked to play that. So I asked uh, for music by Bart Millard. Well, what I didn't realize is that Bart Millard has an awful lot of music that he didn't record with the band, Mercy Me, he recorded uh, with other artists, and a lot of it was really good. And uh, we got to listen to that, and that was fun and exciting. And I, I got to jumping around. Some of the music was, uh, it came up right off with a piece of music that um, it, my honey baby said it was like exercise music, and she exercises, so she puts on music to do her workout with. And there was this really jumpy little song it was uh very modern it had a lot of modern stuff in it and uh oh it was just a ton of fun and then there was a whole bunch of other songs and then um, and then it played what must be a whole album of him doing the old gospel songs but doing them in a way that was updated and those were really good you know you can ruin an old gospel song by updating it but you can also make it better if you do it right and he he apparently did it right because they came out real nice so that was awesome uh, and that, literally, we enjoyed that so much. I guess I can turn the camera around so you can look at me because I got you looking down into the woods because that's where I'm headed as soon as I stop talking. But, uh, in fact, I'll prop you all up on a rock over here and I'll just stand and talk a while about this. Uh, so what happened is uh, we started out listening to this stuff and it was good. In fact, it was so good. Well, I was kind of, you know how you, any of y'all ever do any sit dancing, like you're listening to something that's so good, you get to rocking around and playing the drums on the dash and you should dance, stomping your feet. It was that good. And of course it was one right after another, like when one would end, another one would come up. And if we liked it, we'd listen to it. If we didn't, we'd skip it. And we literally planned to make this trip in three days. And instead we made it in two. 
because we were having so much fun singing and dancing in the car while driving that we the time just passed and before I knew it it was like you know it's just going that was great it was really great so we wound up going all the way down to Harrisburg before we stopped actually Carlisle Pennsylvania uh, we don't go down that that nasty East Coast Road I-95 with all the turnpikes that goes through New Jersey. We don't even go over there. I hadn't gone over there since I was a truck driver. I ruled that out of my life years ago and I never went back for it. So the next day we got up and uh, I was poking around and I knew that uh, I had heard, uh, oh, what's his name that does that Moonshiner song? What's his name? Uh, does that song about, you know, uh, da da Colin Petty Moore, my granddaddy named same thing, drove an old Dodge. Oh, what's his name? Uh, shoot far. I can't think of it, but I will. I'll just go ahead and talk about it, and then I'll think of it in a little bit. But I didn't know a lot about him. I had heard of him, and I had heard that Moonshiner song. So I was able to just say, play songs by this guy. And they were really good. I mean, really good. They were the kind of music that I like. They had the right beat, had the right rhythm, had the kind of the outlaw stance thing going on. It was just awesome. So we was just going down the road rocking out on that. As soon as I think of his name, I'll put it in here. Uh, and we spent the next day going all the way to South Carolina from Carlisle, just singing and dancing and having a ball. And Honey Baby looked him up on the internet and started reading me his story of his life, which is fascinating. Girls were to the picture of Penny Gatlin and his lyrics, but they made, made the song and the album a political hot potato. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's all it sounds like. Yep. I like this guy. <laughs> all about him being a real like outlaw he was too rough for country music and he's making people mad and the rock and rollers liked him because he was a little bit wild and you know all this stuff so so the long and the short of it is that thing was wicked fun for the music and for the ability to choose music there was a certain point where you know, I would think of songs that I liked that I hadn't heard in a hundred years, and I'd just say, like, sing that Jiminy Cricket song, you know, about, uh, you know, If You Wish Upon a Star. Well, they'd play that. Sing that song, uh, Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Well, Julie Andrews, come on, sing that song. And, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like a, it, it's, just, it's just fun. So I'd say that that feature in that thing made it well worth the while. Now Josh asked me, you know, how would it work as far as getting a signal traveling across the country? Well, it, it worked fine. Uh, there was one or two moments where it seemed to hesitate a little, but other than that, it worked all the way down and all the way back. Worked just fine. So I was just delighted with that. So I wanted to tell you that before I went on to make new videos, before I left, I made a bunch of videos, and a lot of them were of that photo shoot, which by the time you see this, you will have seen them. But that gave me some time to travel across the country without being, uh, you know, uh, having to do things in the computer and all that got me down here. So I'll give you a quick example of how this thing works. I just say, Alexa, play Highway Song by Blackfoot. Actually, I just had her playing that a second ago. That's why she came on in the middle of the song. Usually she'll announce the song before she does it. And I can't play too much of that song because it's copyrighted more than likely. I'm pretty sure it probably is. Absolutely, maybe, I don't know. But see, if I play any of their song and it's copyrighted, then I get in trouble with the law. But maybe since there was only like five or six chords there in the guitar part, maybe that's all right. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a, a live a lot a live example of how that works just so y'all know just in case y'all ever want to do that okay so we love it here it's uh 50 degrees or something like that it might be more than that sunshine it's beautiful i can see some green grass growing by the side of the road i've been out in my shirt with no big coats and no big boots and no big socks and no big thermal underwear and ain't waiting in no snow and look at the road it's just all nice so we like and being here a whole lot I just want to share that with y'all. If you have a good day, I'm going to run up the bank and get something and then come back home. We're going to grill something on the grill and we're probably going to go over to our friend's house and play cards. And Oh, life is just good. I'm just saying life is just good. Look at that blue sky. Look at that sunshine. Yee-haw! See ya. Go.
Oh, somebody, my balls here. 